This is a short video that's an introduction to uh, what it means for a topological space to be connected. So a uh, space X with topology T is connected if it cannot be written as the union of two disjoint open sets. So let me give you some examples of that. So let's say X is my set ABCD and I put the trivial topology on it. So I'm only saying the empty set and the whole set itself are open. So the question that you're asking yourself, you know, how do I determine if X is connected or not? Do there exist U and V in your topology, so two open sets, such that the union of U and V gives you back the whole set, but then U and V don't overlap. So is that possible to do? Well, look at your topology T. There's only two choices for U and two choices for V. You either pick the empty set or the whole set itself. So therefore, no, it's not possible to separate X into two disjoint pieces. So X with the trivial topology is connected. Let's do another example. Same set X, but now pick kind of the other extreme topology, the discrete topology. And so remember that means that every possible subset of X is open. In other words, the whole topology is the power set. So you ask yourself the same question. Is this connected or not? And so maybe what I mean by that is to determine if X is connected, you ask yourself the same question in blue. Do there exist two open sets such that you can union the two open sets together to get the whole set back? but those two pieces don't overlap. And I, if you think about it, there's lots of possible answers for U and a V that'll give you the whole setback when you union and they don't overlap. So one example, when I let U be A, B, C, and I'll let V just be D, then when I union those together, I get the whole set X back, but then they don't overlap. So in this case, this set X, T now is not connected. It's disconnected is what you might say. So I hope that you see between these two examples that uh, you know the set is one thing, but really what determines if something's connected or not is the topology that you put on the set. Let me give you one more example. Same set A, B, C, D, but now my topology is the empty set, um, A by itself, B, C, and then the union of those, and then the whole set itself. So is this connected? We'll ask the same question. Do there exist two open sets, U and V, that will give you back the whole set, uh, but then also um, don't overlap. So in that case, no. So no matter what I pick, you know, if I pick anything out of that T that I'm telling you about right here, it's not possible to union those to get the whole setback, right? They miss D unless I use X itself. But if I use X itself, then the intersection with X and another open set can't be the empty set. So it's not possible to separate X into two disjoint open pieces. Let me give you some more very common examples. So the plane, with the usual topology, so like, you know, open balls from your distance function, that's going to be a connected space. Uh, and then let me say too as well, if you're dealing with Rn, so like R2 above is not special, and if T is the usual topology, connected subsets, sometimes they're kind of intuitive to picture. So like on the left, that's a connected subset of the plane, right? So in other words, it's just one piece. It's not separated. Whereas on the right, that B B is both of those pieces. Well, B is not connected, right? It's separated into two pieces. So sometimes connectedness can be a little bit intuitive. Now, on the other hand, there's also subsets of Rn that are connected, but it's way less intuitive to see this. So to give you an example of that, that not everything's as nice as these two pictures above, let's look at this thing. This is a really famous example. It's called the topologist sine curve. So X is the union of these two pieces. The orange piece is what I'm gonna call A, and that's just the y-axis from minus one to one. And uh, the blue piece is the graph of this function, y equals sine of pi over x. And I'm allowing x values to be strictly bigger than zero, but going over to one. So x is the union of both of these pieces together. Now, that blue, it never ever touches the orange, right? The blue is not defined when x is equal to zero. So the blue never touches the orange. On the other hand though, this set together, the union of both of these pieces considered as a set or as a subspace of R2 with the usual topology, it's a connected subset. And that's pretty crazy. And so this is a lot tougher to see. And in the next video, we'll get into some of the pieces that'll help us see this.